What's up, y'all? I'm the Nature Girl 30, and I just finished Cuties. All right, y'all. I'm just going to straight shoot this one, and I'm not going to, like, add any further details or elaborations to it. I don't think that this movie deserves the negative press that it got. And majority of the people that are actually putting this stuff out are people that did not see it. Do I think it's a tour de force? Do I think it's the most genius movie ever? No, I don't. I'm still trying to figure out why I got a Sundance Award in the first place. But this movie wasn't awful. It wasn't great, but it wasn't awful either. Yes, there were some cringeworthy moments, no doubt. No doubt in my mind that there were. Was it over-sexualizing kids to advertise? No. Was it actually talking about the dangers of social media with youth? Yes. Was it talking about what beauty is and the actual definition of beauty in the eyes of certain cultures? Yes. There were a lot of... And also, was it actually saying that it's okay to be a kid? Yes, it kind of did. The thing is, is that this movie has so many lessons, has so many messages that it just didn't have a lot of structure. It was difficult to find out exactly what the motivation of, of Amy, who was the pr protagonist of this, and what she wanted to do and what she was rebelling against until you see further down the line why. But in my opinion, it wasn't really directly said, it was indirectly said. But there were so many messages thrown in there that I just didn't feel like it was structured very well in the beginning. But in the middle, it actually started to get better. We kind of learned a little bit about Ang Angelica or um, Angie. And, well, they kind of were in the same boat. Both Amy and Angie were kind of in the same boat when it came to their parents. And they kind of bonded in that way. But for Amy, Amy, of course, was a Muslim. So she had a lot of religious, um, a religious culture and strict religious traditions that she had to go by. But at the end of the day, when she saw what her mom went through, what she was suffering, it was difficult for her to make that choice, but that was indirectly said. It wasn't directly said. I kind of felt like that this film kind of left it to your imagination on why she made the decision she made, even though in my opinion, there was no rhyme or reason why she did it in the beginning. But I understand what the message is. It's not so much about over-sexualization of children. It's also about what beauty means especially in different cultures and how young girls especially seeing things on youtube on instagram on twitter on facebook what their definition of beauty is and having to emulate that thinking that's how you should be instead of finding out what your definition of beauty is through your own mind and heart and they told a good message about that there towards the very end especially what amy had to learn but it did feel a little bit like it was dragging on at first, I'm not gonna lie. But then you saw the lengths, the depths that Amy went to impress these girls. And it was to the point where it wasn't even her. And <laughs> I was more shocked at that than anything else. The twerking was somewhat cringeworthy, but it was hilarious at the time because I'm not gonna lie, these girls, no. No, there was nothing sexy about what they were doing. But besides the whole twerking thing, I put that aside. It was more towards what Amy did to actually get in the competition is what floored me. But at the end of the day, my verdict is this. I would probably say that this movie is not bad, but I probably would not watch it again. It, was, it doesn't deserve the negative press that it has gotten. But I understand why people were outraged because of the poster that Netflix put out because they tried to be woke, but they did it in the poorest way. The thing is, is that I'm not going to say that this picture is brave. It's a tour de force. It got all these awards. To be honest with you, I don't know why it did, but I understand the message towards the very end. 
The fact is, is that kids are growing up too fast because they're put in an environment to where they are being growing, that, that they're not being forced to grow too fast, but they're being influenced to grow too fast. You can probably say social media, you can probably say maybe an environment that they're in. They're in a position to be grown ups too quickly, so where they don't understand what it means. But in this case, these girls made these decisions on their own. So can I say it's exploitation? Not entirely. There are times that these girls that these girls made the decisions to wear what they wear. And I have seen girls in Georgia that are her age that dress the way they do for reasons unknown and they're able to leave the house like that. Yeah. And sometimes they get the green light from their parents. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I get what the message was saying. And I like the ending. It made sense. I'm happy that, that it did in the way it did. And I'm trying not to give too much out because I really think that people need to see this for themselves. Instead of giving it so much hate, you need to be your own judge. Don't go by any of those reviews until you see it for yourself. Because people were drawn to this thing as like a moth to a flame, ready to throw and just throw all types of stuff at it and set it on fire and try to get it canceled off Netflix without seeing it for themselves. But to let you know, this is not for your kids. But if you sit down with your child and you watch this, it's your fault, not Netflix. But at the end of the day, y'all, my verdict is this. If I actually had to give it a rating, I would have to give it a... I would have to give it a B-. minus. Is it generous? Yeah but it is giving somewhat of a message. And it's not so much for the cringe-worthy thing why I give it a B minus, because mostly it was structured kind of poorly to me. Maybe it was heavily edited for this country, but it, the structure was all over the place. The messages really weren't, um, weren't, it wasn't emphasized enough, especially when it came to beauty. They left a lot of stuff out that needed to be talked about, in my opinion, and need to be put in the forefront especially about beauty and in different cultures they focus so much on the twerking and on the dancing at times that i really think that they should have focused on what people think beauty is there were a lot of messages thrown in here but i gave it a b minus because the structure was off you didn't really know what the protagonist was thinking at times and it was a bit of a drag but as t as it went on in the middle it started to pick up so I'll give it a B- for that reason. But for anybody that's actually seen this um, this movie, I want to hear what your thoughts of it. Straight up. I want to hear what your thoughts of it by seeing the movie. And you have to see it. I don't want to hear any opinions about anyone that has not seen it. You have to see this film. Now, I'm not saying it's a must-see, but if you want to have opinions on this, I suggest you be your own judge and watch it first. But other than that, y'all, this is all that I have to say about this film. I want to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below. I'll see you later. Peace out.